When deciding on a new Mac Mini, one of the biggest choices you'll need to make is the amount of RAM. With the latest M4 Mac Mini, Apple offers configurations of 16GB and 24GB of unified memory, but which one is right for you? Today, I'll walk you through my personal experience, real-world testing, and why I ultimately chose 24GB of RAM over 16GB. If you're on the fence about which configuration to buy, this breakdown should help you make the right decision based on your own needs. Understanding RAM and swap memory on a Mac. Before we dive into my decision, let's quickly go over why RAM is crucial on a Mac. Unlike traditional desktop PCs where you can upgrade memory later, Apple's unified memory is soldered onto the motherboard, meaning whatever you choose at the time of purchase is what you'll be stuck with for the life of your Mac Mini. This makes choosing the right amount of RAM extremely important. On macOS, when your system runs out of available RAM, it starts using swap memory, which means your Mac begins writing temporary data to the SSD. While Apple's fast SSDs help mitigate slowdowns, relying too much on swap memory can cause minor lags, increased power consumption, and over time, possibly lead to wear on the SSD. In an ideal world, your Mac would never have to use swap memory at all, which is why having enough RAM is key. My workflow, why I needed more than 16 gigabytes. Every user is different, and the amount of RAM you need depends entirely on your daily tasks. A casual user who browses the web, checks emails, and streams videos might find 16 gigabytes more than enough. However, if you do a lot of video editing, graphic design, music production, programming, or run multiple apps at once, that's when more RAM becomes crucial. Here's a breakdown of my typical workflow and why 24 gigabytes of RAM made sense for me. 1. Web browsing and research. The first thing I do every morning is open up my browser, usually Safari or Chrome, and start researching. I often have 15 to 20 tabs open at once, including Google Docs, Notion, YouTube, and tech news sites. Modern browsers are notorious for eating up RAM, and with just 16 gigabytes, I started noticing some stuttering and memory pressure when too many tabs were active. 2. Note-taking and planning. I use Apple Notes and Notion simultaneously. While these aren't demanding apps, running them alongside multiple browser tabs still contributes to overall RAM usage. 3. Video editing, CapCut, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve. This is where things get heavy. I often edit 4K footage in CapCut, but sometimes I switch to Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve. Even when working on smaller projects, I notice that 16 gigabytes of RAM would quickly get maxed out, especially when using multiple video layers, transitions, and effects. With 24 gigabytes, my Mac Mini stays much more responsive. Zero swap memory is used, which means smoother playback and rendering. 4. Thumbnail and graphic design, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Pixelmator Pro. Creating YouTube thumbnails is a must for my videos. Apps like Photoshop and Pixelmator Pro use a significant amount of RAM, especially when working with multiple layers, high-resolution images, and effects. While these apps functioned on 16GB, I noticed slower performance when multitasking with a video editor. 24GB ensures everything runs fluidly. 5. Audio editing and background tasks. Sometimes, I have GarageBand or Logic Pro open while editing, and I might also be streaming music via Apple Music or Spotify in the background. Audio production can be RAM-heavy, and having 24 gigabytes helps keep everything running without slowdowns. 6. AI and image processing. With AI tools becoming more prevalent, I occasionally use apps like Photoshop's AI Generative Fill, macOS Image Playground, and other AI-based apps. These demand a lot of memory, and 16 gigabytes struggled under this workload. With 24 gigabytes, everything runs smoothly without affecting system performance. Real-world memory usage test. To prove why 24 gigabytes was the better choice, I ran a real-world test while performing my usual workload. Here's what I found. Open Safari with 15 plus tabs used 3 GB RAM. Opened Apple Notes and Notion added 1.5 GB RAM. Open CapCut with a 4K project memory usage jumped to 10 GB. 
Open Photoshop with a large thumbnail project added 3.5 GB RAM. Launched Apple Music for background listening used 500 MB RAM. RAN Image Playground for AI image generation pushed RAM usage past 16 GB. At this point, on a 16 GB Mac Mini, swap memory would start being used, which can lead to performance dips. But with 24 GB, everything remained responsive and smooth, no swap memory was used at all. Is 24 GB overkill for everyone? While 24 GB was the right choice for me, not everyone needs it. Here's a simple guide to help you decide. 16 GB is enough if you primarily browse the web, watch videos, and handle emails. Occasionally use Office apps like Microsoft Word, Excel, or Google Docs. Do light photo editing or simple music production. 24 GB is recommended if you regularly edit videos, especially 4K plus footage. Work with complex photo editing and large files. Use AI-based tools and professional creative apps. Run multiple demanding apps at the same time. Final thoughts, future-proofing matters. The biggest takeaway is that you can't upgrade RAM later on a Mac Mini, so making the right choice now is important. If you're someone who values longevity and performance stability, going for 24 gigabytes can be a great investment. While 16 gigabytes might be sufficient today, software and workflows are becoming more demanding. Spending a little extra now might save you from needing an upgrade sooner than expected. For me, 24 gigabytes provides the perfect balance of power and efficiency, ensuring my Mac Mini runs smoothly across all my tasks. If you're still unsure, think about your current and future needs, that should help guide your decision. What do you think? Would you go for 16 gigabytes or 24 gigabytes on the M4 Mac Mini? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech insights from Educational Hub.